So uh, what was your favorite memory from senior year? Um, my favorite memory from senior year yeah. would probably just being able to meet so many pretty cool people oh, that I got didn't a good get one. to have. Uh, my year personally has yeah. been uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Academically, one of my better years, which is important. Um, Alright, so there's one time at the beach. Yeah. I don't know if I can really elaborate on that. It's been, it's been a pretty good year, you know? It's, it's been adventurous. Jack, how does it feel to be uh, your last day at uh, Warm Level? It's pretty sad to think about it. A lot of people I'm not going to see you again. Uh, it's kind of sad. It's kind of weird. Because, you know, you still feel like you're so young, but your life is like... Yeah. yeah. You know, I wanted to die like all throughout the year. Now, I feel more alive than ever. So uh, what was your favorite memory from senior year? Um, my favorite memory from senior year yeah. would probably just being able to meet so many pretty cool people oh, that I, got I didn't get one. to hang out with all three. I, I got really, I got really, 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 really. Uh, It's kind of sad, but we'll always see each other. It's again. bittersweet. I'm going to eat your ass. Oh my god. Are you excited to graduate this year? This year? I'm not graduating this year. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm a junior. <laughs> what? You excited to graduate this year? I am a sophomore. Easy <laughs> there. How do you feel? Scared of the camera. Uh, why? Awkward and nervous. Man, why is that? Because I always do it on camera. Oh. What are you filming for? Guess that happens, you know? What are you filming for? <laughs> Is it recording? Yes. So you're just gonna get edited out, right? Yeah. I'm in, I'm in love with Stephanie Alvarez. <laughs> How do you feel that Donald Trump is gonna be our next president? Thank God. <laughs> He's not educated enough to be our president. How do I feel that Donald J. Trump's gonna be the next president? Yes. Static. The past two years of Obama, tragic. I think Trump is going to be a great addition to our presidents. He's a celebrity. He's not a politician. Like, someone as qualified as Hillary Clinton obviously should have won. She's a criminal. She broke the law. And I think that um, a special prosecutor should look into her emails because what she did was absolutely illegal and she needs to be ashamed of herself. Any student that attends the inauguration will not be penalized by any teacher. Please note that if we reach seat incapacity in the auditorium, those individuals who do not have a seat will have to return to the class. Guys, can we please stop talking and pay attention to what's on the screen? He has done things to women without their consent. I don't want to talk about that. I have no defense of that. Who cares what he said about women and this and that? I mean, the guy's trying to make America great again. He's president? <laughs> yeah, I would have rather Hillary won the election. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And yes, together, we will make America great again. Some Long Island high school students are staging a walkout over a change in their graduation gown colors. Mm, but this year, students wearing the same color gown and they're not happy about it. 
The school will buck tradition, departing from green robes for young men and gold for young women. All students will wear the same, a green gown with gold stool bearing the high school emblem in an effort to uphold the rights of transgender students. Longville High School has always prided itself in being a progressive and open-minded school community. I readily admit that the rollout of this change was not done well at all, and for that, I offer you my sincere apologies. We propose many solutions to keep the green and gold tradition without trying to make people feel uncomfortable. Right now, the school's kind of clearly divided. This past week has been chaos. I mean, like, there's been protests pretty much every day. Hey! Let's make Melville great again! Yeah! Here's a time to talk about gun control. March 24th, my message for the people in office is you're either with us or against us. On March 24th, you are going to be seeing students in every single major city marching, and this is about us creating a badge of shame for any politicians who are accepting money from the NRA and using us as collateral. Congressman Zeldin, we demand that you introduce or support legislation in Congress which bans assault weapons like the AR-15 which was used to murder 17 innocent people in the Parkland shooting. We demand that you implement universal background checks. Can you repeat that, please? Um, I personally think that, yes, you have the right to the Second Amendment, but keeping bearing arms, you have to think about what kind of arms you have. Like, an arm could be anything. It could be a bazooka. It could be like a tank. If you're saying keep your bearing arms, let me speak for I have bipolar disorder. I have been in the hospital twice in the, the last year. I have been around people who want to shoot up their own school. No one mentally ill should own a semi-automatic. Why do you think someone like me no. should own a semi-automatic? I feel like there's a false narrative that's created in this country that half of the country doesn't agree on these things. People with a severe mental health problem should not be able to get a hold of a gun, and we should pass legislation that ensures that. That's literally what we're proposing. You're saying that... Well, no, because we... Well, it was my time. You, we literally just... It was, it was my time. Um, and I'd like to think about the Civil War. Um, so, there were many owners of slaves that were horrible to their slaves, with them whatsoever. But there were also many slave owners that were very good to their slaves. So I would ask you to think the same way about slaves, in that, yes, the, um, the people who are good to their slaves, why should they have their slaves taken away? Because they were considered property. It's the same, it's the same kind of mindset. Okay, well, first of all, owning a human being and owning an object is two totally different things. No one should ever own a
Hey Michael, what's your favorite brand of shampoo? <laughs> Charm. Okay. Do you like Top Tuesday? I want to shove these tots in my asshole. Do you like Top Tuesday? I want to shove these tots in my asshole. <laughs> yeah. You're actually going to take a picture with me right now. Like, I'm honestly not, not even like in the frame and you're still taking a picture with me. Good shot. How does it feel to be your last game more Melville? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. This is a you're recording me right here, you take a picture. You're recording me. Bye-bye. Wait, what's this for? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Goodbye.